Hey Turtle Nerds, old and new, welcome back to another video. I just want to say a quick thank you and welcome to everyone who has come from those shorts that you guys saw. If you are a new subscriber, leave me a comment, say hello, say hi, welcome, thanks for watching on my spiel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is talking about five most important items that I have that I think that you guys all need for your turtles to make turtle keeping just that much easier. We're not going to spend any time dilly-dallying, we're going to get right into this. The first item that we're going to talk about is in my garage. Let's roll. One of the number one items that I think that all of you guys absolutely need for your turtles. This fellow right here. This was on Amazon like six years ago. I bought it for like 15 bucks. It's a temperature gun. You might recognize it from people doing this whole jazz to you and whatnot. It'll tell you the maximum, minimum temperature out of a range. Uh, it, I mean, it, it doesn't do much. It just tells you the temperature, but it guarantees what temperature things are. Allow me to explain. Temperatures are kind of everything when keeping turtles. You want to know your water temperature, you want to know your basking light temperature, you want to know the temperature that your turtles are when they are basking to make sure that they're getting enough heat. Temperatures are a really, really big deal. And rather than using an inaccurate thermostat or something like that, or uh, you would need a heater or excuse me, a thermostat for the water and then one for the basking spot separately, you are better off with this little fella right here that will tell you everything. So let's go ahead and kick it on. This little fella right here, this is a 70 degree stone block thingy. We could check the water temperature for my Barrett's box turtle here at 66 degrees. And did it just say 70 over here? That's weird, it's warmer over here. But that's something that one, you know, static probe would never be able to tell you. I can check the temperature of the actual wood itself. For some reason, it's a lot warmer, 71 degrees. I can check into that cave right there. It's a little cooler at 66 degrees. We can check the temperature right like wherever my turtle's at. And you can even check the temperature of the turtle itself. These guys were basking earlier and we're getting some, I don't want to show where I live, but we're getting nice natural sunlight and whatnot. So I am able to check what temperature their basking spot is. So right now where they're still getting sun, this is nice and dark. So it's going to absorb a lot of heat. I can feel it. It's nice and hot. We can check exactly what temperature it is. That's at a crisp 88, 92, 91 degrees. Usually around 90 is just about perfect. Hello, Miss Yoda. We have no food for you. You guys already ate, you nut jobs. But then also, I can check the water temp. What is 100? Okay. Yeah, right here, 112, 113 degrees for this uh, stock tank. Just because it's black, it's absorbing a lot of heat. And so it is quite a high temperature. The water itself is at a nice 80 degrees, a perfect literal 80 degrees. And all the terrapins are looking absolutely great. When they're up here basking, I can also, you know, hit this on them and I can tell, I mean, if I want to get the ambient air temperature, I can go like this. It's about 70 degrees in this garage. This thing is just an absolute lifesaver. No more guessing, no more. Oh, it even tells you distance to spot size. That's kind of cool. No more. There's no guessing, no second guessing. You know exactly what temperature your basking spot is and what temperature your turtles are and the water is. Side note, that thing comes in handy when I'm cooking or baking or something like that. It tells you the exact temperature that your brownies are at. The next item that we have is also out here, but I've kind of deconstructed it. It was this this fella right here. This was, uh, I, I took it apart a little bit, but this was the Python, it's called. Basically what you can do is if you have a hose or a faucet or something indoors, are you tired of doing the five gallon buckets, walking up and down the stairs and, and changing the water that way? That's a thing of the past. You take the Python, it's like 40 feet and like 40 bucks. You take the Python, you basically screw it onto uh, the sink, whatever you have. And then you put the other end in the enclosure that you have, whatever, you you know, turtle enclosure you've got. There's basically this green thing that normally attaches to that. I just took the hose part of this because that's all I need right now because I just siphon the water out and then to fill it back up, I use the hose, but whatever, whatever. You, you take that thing and then you take the thing and turn it and twist it and then you run the water. The force of the water going down and the side part ends up creating a siphon. Even if you're going uphill, it creates a siphon that pulls the water from the enclosure. So then you can drain it really easily and use it as a gravel vacuum. And then guess what? When you've drained the entire thing and it's time to refill, you literally take that green thing, you push it up and you turn it and it locks. And then rather than pulling water down, it now goes back into the tube and fills up. It's basically this entire tube thing right here with a special attachment onto it. It is a literal friggin' lifesaver. It will save your back, your knees, your whole muscles. You don't have to use the stupid five gallon buckets anymore. You just use one thing. And so long as you can attach it to the sink, 
you are totally good to go. Hi. So it's a little funky talking about, you know, supplies that you absolutely need for the health of the turtles and then just bonus things that help to make things better. So for the sake of the video, we're just gonna be talking about like the bonus stuff. All right, so the next item that is totally, it's actually gonna help you and it's gonna help your turtles. And here's why. Okay, story time. I used to live in my dorm, 110 gallon stock tank, literally in my dorm. And Mr. Pancake lived there, this fellow right here. He would nonstop scratch at the walls every night at 3 a.m. I have no idea why. Every morning, I would get up, plug in their light, and every night before I went to bed, I would turn it off. And at 3 a.m., he would wake up going like this, scratching at the walls, trying to get out, just making a total freaking mess. And so finally, I was like, what the heck could possibly be the problem? He's well fed, he's got two girlfriends, what the heck is going on? And then I set up this bad boy right here, and it solved all of my problems. If you use a timer for the heat lamp for your turtles, there's no more having to unplug, plug in, you know, flip the lights on and off and whatever. Just spend the 10 bucks and get yourself a timer. It's gonna save you a ton of heartache and it'll actually impact the health of your turtles. Because after I put in the timer, Pancake was able to set his circadian rhythm, basically his day and night cycles were a little bit confused. So he was waking up well rested at 3 a.m. because he would sleep normally most of the day. So his rhythm was totally off. And after installing that timer, it totally solved the issue. And he and I were sleeping through the night happily. As far as when to set the timer for, I literally turn it on as soon as the sun comes up about eight or nine o'clock in the morning. And I turn it off whenever it gets dark about four or five, maybe even six o'clock. And ever since then, he has been one happy little sleeper. Another item that I use that freaking saves my darn life, this freaking container. This container right here has gone through the ringer with me. This lasted four years throughout school. I need to rinse that out, ew. This thing lasted four years with me throughout school and it has survived like two hurricanes. It is a literal plastic bin that's not see-through, a non-see-through plastic bin, preferably with handles actually, I love the handles. Folks, this container has single-handedly saved me probably a thousand gallons worth of water changes, and here's why. When I feed my turtles, these are the last two items that I use. When I feed my turtles, I take this container right here, I put it below whatever container I'm gonna be feeding the turtles at. So if I'm feeding these guys, I'll put it right here. Or these guys, it works right here as well. I will then siphon the water into a separate container, or you can just use a cup or whatever the heck. And then if we just do a bunch of partial water changes during the week when we feed our turtles, it saves us from having to do massive water changes later on. Also, the turtles will eat in this container, make a total stinking freaking nasty mess, and then it leaves their water nice and clean. And if you leave them in the container for long enough, they'll usually make their waste and whatnot in here as well. Then you take the turtles, put them back in their nice clean environment. You got some happy terrapins, happy turtles. Then you, you, you refill this up with fresh water and you got happy turtles and you take all this nasty water, you take it outside and you dump it out. And it's actually incredible fertilizer for the lawn. So then the final thing that we are gonna talk about that also saves my life kind of coincides with this thing right here. I don't know where the heck I got this thing. This used to be for, uh, I don't even remember, on a siphon or something like that. Essentially what this does is I'll take this end, I will shove it into whatever tube I'm using to siphon the water, right? So say that you don't have a python, at least get this thing and get like a little bit of tubing that doesn't have to be that freaking long. And then here, let me show you. So this thing right here is my siphon starter. Basically water can come out through this way, but it can't go back the opposite way. So what you do is I take this end, I put this clear end into whatever container I wanna drain. I take the other end, I put it down wherever I wanna drain the water to. And then all you have to do with this end in the water, start going like this, squeeze it. And that begins the siphon. So watch this, take it like this, stick it in, oh. And now, you hear that? Oh shoot. Okay, that's the other thing. Once the other end comes up and out of the water, the siphon totally stops. But for demonstrative purposes, that is what that does. And then it begins to drain the water. Folks, with these stupid, simple like tools and techniques, you can successfully keep your turtles and make your life so much easier. Trust me, I have like 30 some odd turtles at this point, so I need to be very efficient with the way in which I do things. And you can extrapolate this siphon and literally what I used to do at my school is I actually used to run a hose 
from my dorm where I had the, the tub of, of turtle water. And then I would run it outside and into the grass and I would siphon the entire 110 gallons out. And then I would take the same hose and use it um, to screw onto that threaded sink and then use that to fill it back up if you don't have a python. There's ways around each of the things that I've mentioned, but just getting the item will really save you in the long run. So yeah, those are just a few ways that I am able to make my life a whole lot easier. I hope that this helped you. I hope that these were some helpful tips. I hope that you all are successful in your future turtle keeping endeavors. If you would like to learn more about what I have going on here, consider subscribing. Also consider hitting the link right up over here and heading over to my Patreon to support me. You get direct access to asking me quest asking me, asking me questions, uh, turtles when I have them available, live streams, discounts on merch, all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, consider supporting me on there so I can keep doing this and making content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one.